Alba Iulia is, uh, ha has a fabulous history. More than 80% of the surface of, of Alba Iulia is a historical monument. I think that uh, Alba Iulia, uh, through the fortress, but also through its history, it's a very unique city. We are having right now here the largest fortress from uh, Romania and Southeastern Europe. Behind me is the citadel, a very specific and a very special place, because we are talking about 2,000 years of history. So the most important parts are, of course, first of all, the Roman period, because inside the citadel we have the Roman military camp of the Legio 13 Gemina. After this, we have a lot of buildings from the uh, Voivodat of Transylvania. Uh, the siege of the old Principate, it's also here, the uh, Principate Palais, and of course, the Bishop Palais. Also, we have here the beautiful uh, Roman Catholic Cathedral, St. Michael, and of course, the beautiful Vauban Fortress, realized by the Austrians beginning of the 18th century. Of course, for Romania, it's also the symbolistic capital because here was signed the act of unification of uh, Romania after the First World War. Together with my colleagues, we've prepared a lot of the projects that were submitted by the local government. Uh, more than 60 million of euro uh, were invested uh, here in the last 15 years in order to restore it, to conserve uh, a most important part of it and to open the fortress to, to the citizens, but also to the tourists. Most of these funds were offered by European Union, but also by the United Nations Development Programme, by the Kingdom of uh, Norway, by our Ministry of Culture, or, or the Ministry of Education and also private investments. Uh, we uh, succeed in uh, creating a strong partnership, a public-private partnership between relevant different stakeholders uh, and work together in the same time in order to promote uh, the potential of uh, this place to create uh, a vivid place, a very attractive place. Uh, we finished the works at the end of 2014, but as you can see also there are uh, some physical works undergoing right now. In 2007, we've conducted another sociological survey and at that time we've uh, asked those staying here what do you want from us to do with, with the fortress and they told us two main things at that time. The first one, they wanted to have here a, a place for leisure for walkings, bikings, etc. But also the second thing was the fact that they wanted here to organize cultural events. Right now uh, the city organized more than uh, 20 cultural activities per year. They were some kind of uh, public uh, consultations. They were public lectures about what is going to happen inside the, the, the citadel. I remember that because I also remember that a great majority of the population of the city was not agree with this kind of uh, uh, changes. Uh, actually inside the, the Roman military camp was a very beautiful park with big beautiful trees and according to the interest of the administration all this park was cut. Also, um, uh, some other parts of the fortress were uh, used by the crea creative industry, small community of uh, Alba Iulia for uh, different, different events organized by, by, by them. Our, our main aim was to, to activate the local community regarding the create, creativity because the municipality um, uh, was just finishing the great, very uh, big project of uh, the rest restoration of the citadel. And the idea was, let's do something with all the spaces uh, to bring people inside. In 2017, we established the uh, NGO, Carolina uh, Creative Quartier. We thought that the best idea is to show uh, the locals, but also the visitors, the most interesting parts uh, of Albaila in a very interactive and uh, playful uh, way. And what's the better way to do that than, than through, a, through a game? In 2018, Creative uh, Hubs, the idea was behind this project was to bring those established creatives together and uh, try to find ways to create firstly a strategy for uh, the creative and cultural industries in Albaila and secondly to try to put all this in action.
People started to use uh, the fortress as a place for, uh, for leisure. So right now uh, they are having uh, for real the property uh, over uh, this place and this is very good. And, and also uh, not only uh, the citizens of uh, Alba Iulia came here but also small investors who open here commercial activities, activities dedicated to support the presence of the tourists or those uh, who are staying here in Alba Iulia. In 10 years, uh, 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 this fortress will have to be more uh, vivid uh, than it is right now. More students in our university, more uh, residential policies uh, towards the occupation of some empty buildings. Also, I think that uh, here we have to create a hub for uh, creative industries. So, um, the, the question is why there is still no uh, big interest for, uh, for the citadel. If you have a restored citadel, a very nice one, you have more uh, nice places where you can eat and drink. But there is still some kind of lack of interest. And my explanation, my idea is that the, actually the lack is of this kind of infrastructure, the, the uh, kind of infrastructure that um, supports uh, creativity, activities. Alba Iulia was, um, I think, uh, the first Romanian city which was a partner in the framework of a transnational project in which we use temporary different spaces, buildings in the fortress for cultural or educational activities. So, um, to some extent, we uh, are customized with this concept, but it's not so extensively used because we are lacking uh, resources, but also the um, mentality. Uh, so we have to educate mentality open to these kind of uh, 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 new concepts. Okay, for, from the very beginning we cannot imagine our activity without the support of municipality. That's very clear. Probably we would expect more in terms of an official policy regarding our interests, our activities. We would expect that uh, for the next few years um, they would be more open in order to just asking us what would be the experience which we are able to propose for uh, our citadel. As otherwise, those spaces, even they are extremely beautiful and uh, they are able to tell a lot of, about our identity and our history, they are still some kind of passive or dead monuments. This is a multicultural city. Alba Iulia, it's impossible to, to be understood, like Transylvania actually, without the presence here of the uh, different populations. Uh, the administration of the city must to assume the entire history of this city. The citadel in the next 10 or 15 years could add uh, other stories besides, uh, of course, the historical one, maybe unpopular in uh, or untraditional stories. <laughs>